All right, so I'm going to introduce this one more time here. So I'm Rob from RV Talk Radio and RV Travel Buddy, and I have Aaron Jimerson. Did I say it right? I already said your last name. Jimerson. From Three Tails RV. And the reason it would be kind of neat to do this little hangout is uh, I'm already full-timing and traveling, and you're already full-timing but haven't started traveling yet until fall. That's right. So I figured we could cover RV living in preparation on this particular hour. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> it, just because it took us five minutes to get it. You didn't tell me it was going to be an hour. Well. Oh, well. <laughs> Great intro. <laughs> anyway, so uh, first of all, are you guys anyway. still in schedule for shooting for the fall? That's what the plan is, unless something else happens. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that is. Yeah. So your uh, goal was is to head to what state again, and towards some fa- Missouri. Yeah, towards some family stuff, right? It's a uh, my niece is getting married. Ooh. Oh, good excuse to get out of town. That's a great excuse. <laughs> So Sherry and I, which uh, we started actually full-timing a half a year ago, but we didn't start traveling till the first of the year. So we're um, out and about, and we've hit a couple of states now or ended up in uh, Arizona. And so we might actually be anchoring down here for a while, uh, but doesn't mean that we're not going to be terrorizing the world some more, but we may be doing more extended. And also we're talking about, maybe doing some stuff over the border. So with you, Aaron, what, what, what's some of the big things you're doing right now to get ready to, for the fall? Tires, <laughs> tires, generator, ah. um, oil change, uh, tune up. Um, geez, just about anything and everything you can think of. I've still got to work on a water system that the pumps out in electric electrical, the electrical to the pump is not working correctly. By the time I get done with this, I'm going to be went from a newbie to an advanced within uh, about a year. Wow. So lots of fun. Tell everybody what kind of rig you got. I have an older RV. It's a 37 foot Fleetwood limited that we purchased, uh, used, had some issues, had a uh, leaky roof. Um, which they, of course, they didn't tell us about, but we found out on our own after pulling back some decor. There was a bunch of water underneath it, and it was just a botch patch job, and did a lot of work to that. That's that was the first thing that was most important. Once the once your ceiling goes out, you're pretty much uh, <laughs> everything else is going to go right with it. So yeah. it runs right down the walls, runs down into your your the the base of it, rust it out, rust out the floor panels, all kinds of problems. So if big word of advice, make sure you check your roof at least once or twice a year. I recommend at least twice. Go up, make sure there's no cracks in your decor. <laughs> Fix anything and everything you can on your own. If you don't feel that you can, then go, of course, go and find professional help. Yeah. So you, uh, when you bought your rig, you didn't really sure. think of or even know about the, uh, the services that are out there to do inspections on your on RVs before you buy them? Um, no, I knew very little about RVs itself and we kind of jumped in with both feet. Originally we had, uh, discussed doing the tiny house movement and getting a trailer and building up a, a house, looked at some floor pans and realized that that's not something that was going to work for either one of us. Lori has had extensive back surgeries and to crawl up into one of those loft spaces as a bed would be virtually impossible for her. So with that being said, we decided to look at the next best thing. I was actually looking at buses and converting an old bus over. And Lori pretty much said, I'm not living in a sweaty old bus. <laughs> so we ended up switching over to the RVs. We looked at probably 200 to 300 of them before we decided on the one that we're currently in. And of course the people that sold it to us said that there was no major no, no major problems with it whatsoever. All that the generator needed was a tune up and everything else worked great. Hmm. Not so much. Yeah. 
So, um, so, so lately, at least I, I've noticed what I've been you know, watching and I urge everybody to get a chance to go to uh, YouTube and check out three tails RV. He's got do it yourself fixes. Uh, all his videos have been real focused on the things that he's been doing to his bus and he's done some, well, not bus, your RV. My bus. Sorry. <laughs> Feels like a bus. Anyways, the one thing I really like was the wood panels you put on the roof. That looked awesome. Uh, but you also changed your refrigerator out. You changed to a dishwasher, didn't you? We added, we took out the uh, oven that was in the RV, uh, the propane oven. The one that we had for some reason just was not cooking to the temperatures that we liked. Oh, that's what I was trying. Wasn't keeping it constant. Have a bunch of issues with it. So... Lori's like, well, I don't want to use that anymore. Let's find something else. We did. And then the conversation came up. What can we put in that space? And I, I asked her on a regular basis what she would want in the RV to make it better for her and for us both. And we both agreed that a dishwasher and the 80s something RVs did not typically come with a dishwasher. And I had to sit back and think about how to how to do the installation, how to get it to work correctly and i got her fixed it's running been we've been using it for over six months now and we can't imagine not having it well i don't think you even find some of those items in the 2000 units either uh finding a dishwasher and things and a good stove is unusual too so i don't i don't think it matters what year you would have bought <laughs> but it sounds like Lori's wow. pretty happy it was a great trade-out for us. I know everybody says there's not a lot of dishes for two people, but all it takes is to leave one plate out, and you have more uh, sugar ants than you know what to do with, and I know you know exactly what I'm saying with that. Yes, darn sugar ants have been a pain in the neck. So for those that don't know us, let's see if that makes me look less red. I look really red. Anyway, uh, has it's nothing in Arizona. And it's in like 90 some degrees out and you just got done with a really good walk with the wife. Yes. And by the way, oh, Sherry, maybe I'm telling too much. So Sherry, so Sherry uh, <laughs> uh, continued to walk. And if you listen to RV talk radio, you'll realize why, why we're doing all this walking is my wife got one of those Fitbits, and she's competing with her daughter. So now that the battle's going on this week between, cause they can actually challenge each other online. So she's just on this, let's mm -hmm. go for walks, let's go for walks, let's go for walks. Because I got to beat my daughter. I got to beat my daughter. And so anyway, so okay, tonight, I got after she, uh, the one thing I wanted to let you know is she saw a, hav a javelinas, which makes me mad that uh, I didn't get to see them. But uh, so uh, we got to see some wild javelinas. So anyway, what were you going to say? And Lori, Lori through her company is actually doing the same thing and probably using the same software. Yeah. And she's up to 10,000 steps a day now. Yeah, you're doing 10,000 too, right? Sure. I did 10,000 tonight. And what Fitbit did you get? Okay. The blade. And what level is she on? What level are you yeah. on? She just started this week, so I don't know if she... She just got it, so she's not in any level. I didn't know there was but she got oh. the, okay. the new blade. That's what her daughter got. Yeah. Bla blade? Yeah. Oh. That's the same that one Lori has. Yeah, what color so, did she get? Purple? Did you get purple? Purple. Okay. Purple. Yeah. Okay. So you know how that's gonna go. <laughs> yeah, her and Lori have the same thing. Yeah. So and you just went to what? My internet signal must be messing up because it says you have poor internet signal. Put mine since you're there then. Yeah, you're hesitating. Well, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> So anyway, for those who didn't uh, don't know me, uh, the other thing I want to let you know is Sherry and I are in a fifth wheel. And so we have a Montana 3625 2013. And uh, Aaron, your your face froze. <laughs> so it, I think it's your internet because I'm on high speed now. It probably is. And I'm on. Whatever you're and that's at. part of the reason why I haven't been doing chats lately is because the internet that I have is so fluctuating that it's terrible. Yeah. Now, um, when your internet gets better, I assume that you're going to try to do your hangouts again on Saturdays? That's the plan. I've 
am working currently working on a uh, antenna system to get better Wi-Fi from around where I'm located at now. So hopefully that will help to render that. Yeah, uh, problem. Kind of nice because uh, you actually run a pretty good, and you're starting to master G plus Hangout. So just to learn how to do that takes a master's degree. <laughs> <laughs> I'll agree with that. So that's why I decided oh, I'm going to try doing a blob for the first time, and and Aaron volunteered to be my guinea pig, so I really appreciate it. But uh, voluntold, okay. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. That's okay. It seems to me that I helped you. I got to turn. <laughs> I know, I know. No big deal. So what are, you, what are you adjusting over there? I am turning off stuff to see if that helps to clear this up. And I'm sure Lori's probably playing on her phone in the back room while we're doing this. So that's not helping either. Yeah, you're doing all right. I mean, your second wasn't been too bad. Well, you're chopping up really bad. But that's okay. You've been free, you've been free to talk with you. Survive. Yeah, it'll work. So your goal is like September, you're going to be heading over to us uh, to the wedding. The end, the wedding is on October, in the middle of October. I don't want to say that, <laughs> obviously. Um, the middle of October, and the plan is to leave here late August, early September and drive from here, we're going to go down to California and do the Route 66 all the way back up into Missouri. Nice. The classic ride for the first one would be Route 66. You're going to meet up with the scripters too, right? Um, somewhere. Uh, I haven't really done a lot of research into it yet. Haven't sat and sat down and actually plotted out the route. We've got a. Um, Tentative ones scheduled through uh, Google Earth. And if you haven't ever used Google Earth before, you can set destinations. You can take your little line and you can drag it across where if you want to go to a certain route, you can pull it over to it and it will take the line to where you want it to go. Uh, from, I'm going to go I-5 all the way down into the south side of San Diego, not San Diego, L.A., and then pick up uh, Route 66 up to St. Louis, I think, is where it's where it was into, and then head over to my brother's house from there. The plan, when once we get there, is to see an RV park that's uh, within several miles of the house. I don't even know the name of it right off the top of my head. So I'm gonna put you on the spot. How's the non-smoking going? Um, my vape is over there. I just. Haven't brought it over, so. so but have, you, have you stayed away from cigarettes? Um, what we have done is, and I know it's going to sound weird, we allow ourselves to have two a day, one in the morning when we first wake up, because that's usually the hardest one to kick, and then one in the evening before we uh, go to sleep. So that's... Oh, it's interesting to hear how people are doing it. Like me, it was different. I, uh... I've actually not smoked for three years. I still vape, as you saw. Um, I use Chantix, and somehow that as a miracle. And then having, a, and I smoked for 35 years, so I'm just shocked that I'm not buying cigarettes anymore. And then, uh, I'm actually slowly weaning myself off of nicotine with the vape. And uh, I just got my last one from Barbara Stoney Baker. Mm -hmm. uh, Baker. Got my next bottle of uh, three millimeter. Um, millimeter. Uh, milliliter. Yeah. So, uh, then after that, I'll either go to zero or so I got a challenge I'm going to be working on my wife with because uh, we're getting to a point where we need to reduce her uh, drinking Coke uh, pop or soda pop. So when she's ready, and she's going to be totally ready. I don't want to press her into it. And that's going to be a signal to quit even vaping. So we'll see. We're getting to the point. I also find that um, when I get the real bad cravings, to go ahead and get a big glass of water, and that usually helps to uh, get rid of some of that too. Yeah, well, uh, so 
sculpted uh, have you any problems with gaining weight? Um, no, <laughs> not that. <laughs> but I'm sure that's one of the the side effects. But then, then you need to get a Fitbit and then start tracking yours, and then that'll help with that too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you guys sure can hear this because she goes, "Yeah, right. he has to get a Fitbit." <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah. I'm holding <laughs> on that. So. Oh. So anyway, over here in Arizona, we've had about 40 to 50 mile per hour winds all day long. Wow. Yeah. Um, luckily, I mean, we, I haven't had to do any driving down by Tucson. They had a uh, pile up on uh, Highway 10. And uh, let's see. What, <laughs> now that I talked about the vape, I know what you're doing. Yeah, that's where I'm in. And then it leaked. Damn thing. Ugh. So, there we go. So, okay. So, yeah, so Phoenix got uh, got dusted down pretty good today. Well, you'll never guess what it did in Washington today. Did you get sunshine or rain? We, we had rain. <laughs> well, that one's not a shock. <laughs> well, considering... Uh, Two weeks ago, we were breaking records every day for the highs for the the month of April. Really? Wow. 78 degrees. It got up to um, 85. People were running around here with shorts on, and now they're all got their winter jackets back on yeah. at 67. So when you did your uh, squim and um, port gamble uh, thing last week, was that in the sunshine? That was in the sunshine yeah. with, the, with what? They call heat here, <laughs> which always makes me laugh. I think. Oh, it's so humid. It, humid. Yeah, I think uh, since I've been here, I witnessed rain one day for like half a day, something like that. That's it. Yeah, well, it's been raining almost all weekend. Uh, Lori's son was out. Uh, can't, Lori's the son came out. No, Lori's <laughs> um, middle son uh, Scott came out and visited us over the weekend. So we had to do the touristy stuff and take him in to Seattle, and we did the uh, the Great Wheel. Oh yeah. Ooh. So stay How was it? stay tuned for that video. It's going to be coming out it, for the price, and you get to go around four times. Ooh. So it's, and you get to see all the construction and the construction cranes in Seattle. Oh, and you get a nice view of I-5. Oh, it's so worth the price. No, actually, what was, if, what was the price? if it's something you're really interested in doing, um, the price was $18 wow. per person huh. to go four around times. four times. Super. Four times. So I got a question for you about Blab, by the yeah. way. I, I see this thing in here. It says, okay. drop in any link to spice up your Blab. What kind of, I have what kind no of link is that? I don't know. It almost scares me. I don't. Well, see, it's still in the beta format. So that what they're doing is they add stuff all the time to it. Uh -huh. And because I haven't used it in like three months, all of those little neat little things that uh, they keep adding, 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 adding to it. Well, uh, I haven't been keeping up on. Huh? Well, I'm not sure what it does, so. but I'm not impressed. <laughs> Well, learn. Did you do it? Yeah. <laughs> Push here, Rob. <laughs> See what happens. Okay. <laughs> Just don't hit the little X in the corner. Yeah. You'll be fine. Oh, sorry. I gotta give you some. Uh, some. Uh, oh, I get some props right? since I gave you seventeen yeah, already. So I gotta one up. I oh, gotta here, one up. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you're good. You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now getting back to RVing here. Uh, so while we're down in Arizona, we're doing everything backwards. Everybody's leaving, heading towards Washington. And Sherry and I are here in Arizona when it's going to start getting in the hundreds. So the biggest thing we've been working on is uh, the insulation to put in the windows. I added, mm -hmm. added a third air conditioner, um, a portable one, to take the pressure off the two that we already have. 
That's working really good, by the way. Good. Tire covers on. I got new tires because my other ones exploded. <laughs> uh, you can watch that video if you really want to watch that. You can go to YouTube and watch that one. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, there's not much that doesn't happen to us that we don't make a video about. But uh, So, um, I'm trying to think of what other thing. Got Cinder a swimming pool. Yeah, that's on our list too. And uh, so do you, not for Cinder, but do you have? Does your little dogs play in water? We don't know. That's the whole fun thing about it. We just want to get one of those. It's a small. I don't want to get a blow up one, but we're talking uh, about the little kitty pool that only yeah. can put like two inches of water in it, and they can sit out there and, and exactly enjoy it. I think if it gets hot enough, I bet you they'll use it. Oh, I'm sure. Send her literally just get in and just sit down and just act like she's just sitting on the ground. <laughs> She'll sit there for 10 minutes if I let her. <laughs> oh, she, thank you, Dad. Yeah, she loves it. <laughs> so you got to make sure that you have somewhere in your RV to keep storage. Uh, if you're traveling, to keep your pool. But that's the only problem. But luckily, the other thing that, that we did is they have these. It's a cool mat. I don't know. If you a cool mat. It's, it's a cool mat. It's like um, got a gel in it. Yeah, and you can put it in the down. refrigerator. Well, you can, but you can just set it on the ground, and it helps to keep the the keep them cool. That's something we use sure. with our our little hoard. Have you heard of a cool? They actually mat? sell these at um, they sell these at a Camping World. You got it. And it's got like a gel stuff in it. Oh, and I didn't know that. Yeah, you can get those, like I said, at Camping World. They're well worth the, the investment for the dogs. Yeah. Especially our long hair. She she loves that thing. I'll have to try it with Cinder. If she doesn't eat it, eat it first. Well, <laughs> I'm sure she'd try it once, and then after that, it'd be like, ugh. <laughs> so what your next endeavor, what are you doing to get your rig ready? What am I doing next? I have a list. I have a big list. I have to finish doing the pine ceiling into the our bedroom. And then the plan is, is to um, start working on the different walls. The wall behind me is going to get replaced up to or all the way up into the cabinets, up into the base, and put some more insulation. I want to get as much insulation in here for preparation for wherever we end up next. Yeah. Um, insulation. Uh, I got to look at the tires. There's going to be a video coming out about all you ever wanted to know about RV tires and more. Uh -huh. Exploring um, how to read the different codes on it, the inf insulation, or the insulation, the um, inflation rates for the tires, uh, how to read everything, like I said, everything you ever want to know about RV tires. So that's going to be coming up. Um, another big one that I'm looking into right now is the different uh, fire extinguishers, where to locate the fire extinguishers, where's the best location for a fire extinguisher, uh, and basically how to use a fire extinguisher because I don't – that's always something that you don't want to learn but trial by fire. I hate to use <laughs> that as a, as a joking term, but yeah. – the last thing you want to do is get woke up and then have to read the directions on the bottle on how to use it. So something that I've been thinking about and pro and we'll be doing it. I've got a couple different uh, fire extinguishers that we have in ours, but there's many different brands that you can use and explore some of the different brands and which ones work better and best for the RV situation. Yeah. So that's coming up. Um, other things that I've been working on, I'm going to be ordering a pump for my water. I need to check and make sure that my tanks will hold water. And if they don't, then I'm going to have to pull those out. And that will be an interesting DIY because how, how to patch those, how to fix holes in it, how to troubleshoot where the holes are without filling it up all the way to the top and realizing, oh, look at the water, pretty water coming out the bottom. <laughs> so that's that's another project. Um the tune-up, that has to be done before you go anywhere, especially in a Class A, Class B, Class C, any of those. You've got to make sure that you're ready to go. 
Are you gas tires or are diesel? Most in, we're gas. Okay. We're a puller, not a pusher. Gotcha. And um, actually looking at maybe doing some um, different modifications might be adding some different mods to the engine itself to get better performance out of it. Because yeah. we are adding a little bit more weight with the um, with the pine slats. So anything, the more performance, the more gas mileage we can get out of it, the better off it'll be. That's why the tune-up's on there, the oil change is on there. Just a lot of, it's little projects, but little projects add up. You know how that goes. Yep. So um, um, just to remind everybody, so you, you have a website called 3 com. Yep. And you have your uh, YouTube channel. Is that actually called Three Ch Channel? Oh, <laughs> Three Channels RV. Three Tails RV also? Yes. Okay. And, and that's Three Tails, just like it. Three of the number three, Tails RV. Tails like T-A-L-E or T-A-I-L? Where's the dog? Oh, she's over there. Come here, baby. I know what, I know like what it tails. is. <laughs> like a Tails. Tails and dogs. Not a Tails is and dogs. Yep. And then for us, it's RV Travel Buddy. RV, you can find us either RV Travel Buddy, RV Travel Quest, or RV Talk Radio, which is a weekly program. Or you can we just do. type in RV Travels, and he's number three on the list. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> there, Not that I've been doing any reading, John. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, yeah, I've, I still know I got some more areas I need to work on when it comes to that, but. So uh, uh, we also turned on our directory again, which is rvtroublebuddydirectory.com. And uh, I sent you a link to that because I told oh, you, you we had that and I actually shut it off. And I was going through my files and realized I didn't delete it. And I'm going, you know, we we're just talking about this. So I, I re renewed the domain and fired it up again. So uh, it's a really nice uh, platform, but... Uh, in case you're wondering what Rob is talking about, it's actually talks about the different campsites that you can go to RV, RV uh, parks, uh, campgrounds, all that types of stuff with the reviews, yep. and you can add your own review of a of a different uh, campsites, RV parks, that type of yep. thing, and help help the community to help itself. Yep. It's that's well, what, what we're we trying. We also to built do. into it yeah. that if you have a product or service that supports. RVs, you can put your business like Camping World can put their business in it. Um, if you're a, a person that works on trucks that supports uh, towing or, or welding and things like that, you could put your um, your listing in there too. So supporting resources can go into that directory also. And it's called RV Travel Buddy Directory.com. And I did relink it back to RV Travel Buddy. So it's there. And, and uh, I'm hoping that. Uh, I can talk Aaron to help me maintain it. <laughs> um, but like we said, it, it's it's uh, there to help the community to help itself. Um, as as it's meant to be, the more that you can support the community, the more that will grow and the more that uh, other people will get involved in it. So help yourself by helping others. There yep. you go. Exactly. And then – We've got the other site that I helped you with, the um, RV social. Network. The name of it now, Ivory RV Social Network. Yep. So if you're interested in uh, collaborating or meeting with other RVists, you can go over there and take a look at that. Yep. And thanks, thanks and to Aaron, we got that running really good, and we got it upgraded with some new things, and so it's it's running awesome now. So. So, yeah, so you've been a backbone of helping me get some things <laughs> up and running. <laughs> that's that's what I, like I keep saying. That's all about helping the community. <laughs> yep. If it's helping individuals, you end up helping the masses. Definitely. That's why I think I started my YouTube channel in the first place. I always said that if I could help one person out, then the whole channel was worth the benefit of doing yeah. it. Yeah. By the way, we got a compliment. I, 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 I kind of wanted to say out loud because uh, – they had a point, but uh, over the weekend, I accidentally launched two videos that were what I call fluffy videos. They're things that are really special, but they don't need somebody narrating it. It's just one was about a time lapse and another one was hummingbirds. And one of the comments I got back that kind of touched me a little bit was, was like, 
you're one of the few people that have launched videos that don't have to put their face in front of the camera and go blah, 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 blah. It was refreshing to see a video that was just a video. <laughs> I thought, wow, I haven't heard that comment before. That was kind of new. And so um, I guess, you know, if, if you have a video that you think you just got some pretty stuff and put some nice soundtrack to it and you don't have to talk and get in front of the camera, it's some people like that too. So power to them. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Yeah. Well, we've said it in the past. And I know we've talked about it. You don't have to have the drama to, to put out good videos. No. And uh, so, that was really pleasant. And, that's, and, and uh, That is a good comment. Uh, our emphasis, and I, uh, it's one of the things I want to do on our next Blab Together, you and I, is uh, and whoever we can invite, is to keep the subject going about what we call the RV full-timing um, uh, turning point in our lives where we're kind of getting closer to that age of being a senior which for sherry and i still another 10 years and you're just behind us by just a handful of years and uh trying to get people to kind of work on what are you gonna do you know because uh I, you gotta have an open discussion about health care and prescriptions and what kind of equipment uh, you want to use? Are you going to own a house or try to live in an RV? Is an RV even part of your formula? Is leaving the United States and living in another country another answer to that problem? And it really brought in, in our last video on Friday, and also RV Talk Radio talked about it today. The feedback we're getting is amazing. People are all over the board about there are different scenarios. So the big thing is you can't just you can't just put it in a nutshell saying this is how you're going to retire or how you're going to be a full timer. Everybody's story is totally different. So it was quite amazing. And so I got these novels of all these different scenarios that I didn't even think of it was a you know an issue or wasn't an issue for some people. And it's amazing. Well, like you had said. Go ahead. Like you had said once before, it's it's the hourglass and it's the sand that passing through the hourglass. Every piece of every grain of sand that goes through the hourglass is a part of your life and a part of the things that you're doing. And if you don't pursue some of your happiness and some of your dreams, the, eventually all the sand runs out and it's time to yeah. go. Yeah. So. But, you know, but, you know, uh, I still I, I love the fact we have videos out there, people live the freedom, do this, do that, be free, be nomadic, all that stuff. That's fine and dandy. And I like that. I love to hear that. That's a great thing to hear. But when it comes down to sitting in the emergency with a broken wrist, how are you going to pay for it? Yeah. You know, or if you're broke down the side of the highway, how are you going to pay for that tow truck? Uh, what if you have a major medical issue? You know, they don't talk about that. <laughs> That's suddenly well, they not... do, but <laughs> yeah, we're not even going to go there. I, know. <laughs> I don't even want to. Not in this format. But anyway, there's there's ways to do it that are a little bit unethical and um, for some people un unrealistic to actually try and create more drama than what there is. Yeah. Um, That's not. And we've talked about this before. That's not something that either one of us are are uh, willing to pursue. This is more of a passion for us and not a way of life. Yeah. I think it's the best way to well, put it. Well, the bottom line, and I, I, I mean, I'm out here. I, we were traveling. 95, I'd say at least 95% of all RVers are above board. You're everyday middle class people trying to just enjoy life or using their RV as a tool or a resource for their jobs and things like that. And so um, this 5% of stuff that you and I just mentioned, they get a lot of attention because they're, you know, doing most of the videos and stuff. But if you go to every RV place, you'll realize that they're, they're just like you and I trying to figure out how to move on with life and enjoy the last of the years and stuff. So yep. uh, and then there's, um, there's a lot of folks out there that are um, are just using an RV for a tool or trying to get their overhead really low while they're saving a lot of money so they can retire. 
Um, some people are doing it on necessity that they've had divorces or, or problems like that. And, uh, um, or for some people, it's, it's the way of life. They are traveling nurses. They have um, a, a job that, that relies heavily on transportation from one place to another. It's cheaper to stay in an RV than it is to stay in a hotel. Yeah. Like plain like my, and simple stuff. My neighbor over here, really nice guy. He's from Utah, and he's uh, working for a company. I guess I shouldn't say the company name, but he's down here for training and stuff. He's a manager. His family lives in Utah. And so he's using an RV down here because it's a lot more affordable than trying to stay in a motel room. And the poor diem made everything kind of tough. So um, uh, he's got a great setup right next to me using a, uh, it's actually just a trailer. Nice guy. And he says, only thing he's worried about is his wife and kids are coming down and next week. And he's like, that trailer is going to feel real small. <laughs> Well, easy way to fix that. Go get a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> He's too young. Um, He's got his kids and stuff to kick, take care of. I know if I would have been thinking about this when I was on active duty, this had been a perfect way to uh, to to live and uh, actually put a lot of money away. Yeah. But again, you don't think about that while you're you're. While you're making the money, you worry about it after you've made the money and wonder where it all went. So, yeah. Um, and in speaking with that, I, I know from our own side of the house, I, I am prior service military. If you haven't read the hat, I retired for after 20 years and a lot of my medical stuff is taken care of. And Lori is on a case by case basis, depending on what the situation is for her stuff. But we still have um, our medical is all taken care of. Well, not completely taken care of, but I don't think anybody's is anymore. Um, 100%. But we we have that. We can use that. Um, I do have a retirement income coming in right now. And I know some of the things that we've talked about is um, going down to Florida. There is a RV training that you can go through so that you can get certified nationwide to work on RVs. And that's something I'm really considering doing because uh, while you're traveling, you get a chance to get into some of the parks and places and people need help. Yep. And be having that certification, having the tools, having the equipment and the know-how to do that, I can help anybody no matter where I go. And that is a yeah. benefit. Again, back to the community, I learned something that I can pass forward to onto others. Either do it yourself or if they don't have – the means to pay me to do it, I can at least stand back and, and give them some guidance on what they can do to fix it, fix their RVs. So that's that's an avenue we're looking at. YouTube, um, reaching out to people like Rob, who've got uh, a myriad of um, websites and ideas and uh, things that can help contribute to that. Um, he's actually set up a good business model for himself. And uh, once you get him talking about it, um, you might have a little trouble getting him to stop talking about it. But that's a good thing. That's, that's a right. good thing. Yep. Because you can always learn from others, uh, learn by doing, learn by helping. Um, that's has always been a great teacher for me. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's why I decided to do a hangout so I could talk about it more. <laughs> well, <laughs> man, it's working. <laughs> yeah. That's working so, for us. Uh, We've got a couple of people that are watching, so who's doing something right? We do. <laughs> I think it says, isn't that a six next to the two? Yeah. Wow. Ah, see, there's people watching. How about that? Hey. Hey, welcome. Yes. Um, if you have anything you'd like to add to this conversation, just let us know. You can leave a uh, right over there. It says send a message. You just type in there. Yeah. Hit the uh, enter button, and we can answer any questions that you might have or concerns, or if you'd just like to get into the topic, we have a couple open seats. Rob can push the button and you can join in the conversation yeah, if you'd like. As soon as I get, as as, if I could just find the button, yeah. So yeah, this is actually my very first hangout that I ever uh, did, or blab they call it. So uh, this is kind of a practice session too, but uh, I have uh, don't do a lot of these and I've found Aaron here uh, from Three Tails RV him and I are a lot um, on the same page on a lot of subjects and a lot of uh, 
um, issues that we were both concerned about and we've worked together really well. So uh, I thought maybe we'd team up a little bit more and uh, yeah, time to do you. that. <clears throat> and our wives both don't like to be on the internet, but we stick, stick cameras in their faces anyway. Well, I could put the camera over there, but you probably won't like to see the two finger salute that she's going to give us. <laughs> and I'm talking half a peace sign, not the full one. I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and she's smiling, going, "Yeah, it's like whatever." It's like Sherry goes, "She's hiding in the back room." It's like you don't have to hide. But well, I've seen her dart across a couple times, so you know. Hi, Sherry. Bye, Sherry. <laughs> yeah. She's watching her favorite show, Scorpion. Well, Lori's in the other room watching whatever she's watching too. Yeah. So well, it's final finale today. So. So, do you feel old when you hear that Prince passed away? I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> Just a little. I know. It's like it's Purple Rain. Purple Rain came out in my sophomore year of high school. So, that'll make uh -huh. you feel old. <laughs> I know. I think I was like, like 21 or 22 when, it came, when he was really going at it. And, uh, yeah, nice. This seemed like the other day. But, oh, yeah, so we're talking about RVs. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? Um, let's see. What, what, um, what other than the air conditioner and the the pool sauna hot tub? Yeah. <laughs> what else have you been working on? Me? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Well, we got the directory out. We just talked about that. Yep, and cleaning up some servers, uh, working on old files. That's what that's how I found that. So, what people see, what I have to do all day is I, you know, we maintain our own servers, and we also uh, do websites for people. We are called helpwithblogs.com. So a lot of times we go in. Uh, my clients, I go in, check their files, check their server. I go in on the backside, make sure they're all up to date and got all their latest. Uh, um, up, upgrades put into their uh, WordPress accounts, and so this is kind Plugins. of yeah. So this is kind of a day for me to do that, and and then if there's some that some new things that come out, I tell them about it and ask them if they want to install it or not. And uh, so that's been and kind of my me, day today. It's a really good service that he provides, and the only reason why I can say that is because I'm a customer too. Yeah. So you and, Rob uh, does help out with that, and it is very helpful. If you have any questions or concern about websites or creating a website or hosting a channel or a blog. Or buy domains, can, too. Yeah, there you go. You yep. can uh, go ahead and talk to Rob. By, by the way, you your, your website's looking at, really good. Uh, I'm trying different things. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can find us at, if you want your own domain, uh, just go to northwestdomainswithans.com. And those are... Uh, you just buy domains, and there's no gimmicks to it. You just buy it. You hold it. If you want to host it later, you can. But if you have, uh, if you just want to buy domains and not be harassed with commercials and spam, it's a great place to go get your domain. And the price is twelve ninety five a, a domain, unless you start buying those mm -hmm. fancy ones. Uh, do you do you know that a dot TV costs thirty nine dollars? I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, because I was thinking about doing um. Because I don't, I don't know if RV TV has been taken yet, and that was something that I was really looking at. So I went, "Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> you got to renew that every year." <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, however many you do, that could add up really fast. But yeah, um, Rob helped me out by setting up my blog page. Was, um, I have a little bit of a background with uh, doing some of the uh, different things on it. I knew nothing about uh, WordPress when I first started, started doing some more research and have come up with something a little bit different than than uh, than what he's using, but it was a good framework to start with. And if you're really interested in doing something like that, Rob is a good person to talk to about it. Yeah, I will. And I know it sounds like we're doing a lot of infomercial <laughs> on ourselves. But we have uh, done a lot of things together and uh, done a lot of actually Rob did most of the footwork and all he did was go back and try and help to fix some of the problems that he was facing. But there's a lot of good stuff that you can actually use 
that will help and with the community within inside the RV community. So, yeah, and uh, but I, I but uh, I have had a chance to go peek at your website and, and you found a really good uh, a theme for it. And uh, anyway, it's looking really good. So, uh, it's, bravo! It's coming. So, yeah. <laughs> It's a, if you ever get into web pages, it's always a work in progress. No matter what you do, you will find yeah. something, and then you'll find something else, and then just try not to make it too big of a of a personal headache for yourself. That's the only recommendation I can say. Yeah, so I know, like today, what's the framework there? I had to go into like ten different websites, all WordPresses, had to get them all updated, all the new. Because uh, they just came out with a 4.5 version and got that upgraded. Um, anyway, plugins, and then when you upgrade that, your plugins are out of date, so you get upgrade those. So uh, anyway, I'm catching up. So, well, I haven't made a video. That's in part three of the days. fun, though, too. Yeah. So uh, video wise, I thought you beat it again. On. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I've done two since the last time I talked to you. <laughs> I got it. We did what I'm cooking. Uh, we got the new pressure cooker I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I need to get you that recipe for that pulled pork, too. Yeah. You'll love so that. So we made split pea soup last night, and it was awesome. Um, hmm. I mean, so we're actually, this is stuff that Sherry and I don't normally do, but those new uh, power pressure cookers, they call them, we just got the six quart. And uh, those things are awesome. Oh, um, they're easy yeah. to use and easy to clean too. By the way, very easy. Um, the only thing you need to worry about is the main container. Everything else is made out of stainless steel. Yeah. Uh, the main container is actually um, dishwasher safe, but uh, the dishwasher that we have is not capable of doing that. It actually cleans up really easily. Um, we love ours. We've used it. We had it for probably three months before I was like, okay, I'm going on Amazon and I'm going to buy you a cookbook and we are going to use it. <laughs> I tell so, you, we, I, we, it's, it, it causes you to cook better and you can consider buying lower cuts of meat that you can, it, that tastes great if you can tenderize them. Mm -hmm. and so uh, well, that's what we're so thrilled about. Well, and then if you actually plan ahead, you can actually cook ahead too. You can make a variety of different foods and freeze them. If you have on a freezer, you can freeze all that up and it's quick and easy meals. You just heat it back up and you're ready to eat. So the, uh, the other one that we're looking at now is the, um, the, what the heck is it? It's uh, the skillet plank where you, it takes certain, um, skillets instead of using the paint all the time it's a uh skillet yeah, yeah. i'd have to get the it's a sheffer sheffer skillet that they have at camp world we looked at that this weekend and we're looking at a couple other different alternatives trying to find out which which one's the best bang for the buck yeah. i'm getting kind of worried about you. you've been it. hanging out at camping world a lot lately um what i do and I don't know if, everybody, if anybody else did this, uh, we were just there this last weekend. What I do is I go in with my camera and I look at the different items that I'm actually thinking about purchasing. Uh -huh. And I take a picture of the item with the price tag. And then I do comparison shopping so that I can get the best deal. Good deal. Some people don't do that. They just go get what they want. I like to look around and try and save a few dollars here or a few dollars there. Nothing wrong with that. Because I, that is on my list also <laughs> is to replace the toilet in our RV. Oh, fine. Because I think the seal, the seal is going out, and it's a, such an old model. I don't even know if they make a kit for it anymore. <laughs> That's the joys of having an older RV. Yuck. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, you clean it out. Hey, that's a good reason to clean it. Really clean it. I remember I had to fix a macerator in my boat when I had a boat. When I was like, it was like, you just got to do what you got to do. <laughs> well, have you seen the, the macerators that they have for RVs now? Yeah. With the, it's a, you hook the hose up to it and it actually sprays and chops up everything good for you. So it's not as bad for the environment or bad for the, uh, you get it out of your tank. It also helps to get yeah. back production going so that it flows out faster. 
That's a really kind of interesting. Until the macerator gets stuck. <sighs> Not supposed to talk about that. Yeah, well, I have news <laughs> for you. It happens. I know. So, I know. So the other thing we accomplished that I I was really proud of myself is uh you know Sherry and I love to do what's called road trip videos, so we got two coming mm -hmm. up. And one of them we called uh, the Highway 188 loop up by uh, Lake Theodore Roosevelt Lake. And so it was about a 200-mile road trip we did in a day. But it was the first time I did a video that actually traced out the route and, allow and allowed me to narrate it at the same time. And I've never, mm -hmm. never done that on video before. So um, I'm kind of hoping that people like that. But... We just basically have a map where we can actually talk and, and run the line at the same time uh, live, narrating as the line's moving, stop it when we want to and everything. And uh, uh, we just never added that to a road trip before. And so we'll be doing that on a regular basis now. But I was just kind of patting the back that, oh, yeah, I finally got around to doing that. <laughs> and it's not even hard. That's the bad thing. <laughs> Expanding your horizons. Yeah, it's like. Um, uh, but yeah, this week we'll start getting some green screens going and we got some other stuff going on that I got to get done. So, uh, now Sherry's back to the nine to five and stuff. I, I'm getting some work that I need to done. <laughs> so, so I'm just like, you, you got all these projects. I got all mine now. Well, the hardest part for me is to stop and go, Oh, I should grab a camera while I'm doing this. Uh huh. I've got, um, we have a door that goes between our main cabin, which is just outside the bathroom, that is an actual door. It's not a curtain. And Lori's like, can we make this into a half door? And I'm like, yeah, I can do that. Half door. It's an actual oh. door. I want to make oh. a bottom half so it can stay closed. Oh, because the dog. So that the dogs aren't going back and forth. Uh -huh. And then you go in at night and find a nice spot in the middle of the bed we want to make a half door and then i'll also keep the the because that bedroom seems to be the coolest in the summertime coolest room in the whole whole rv so the idea is to make a half door so we can keep half of it open and keep the dogs out yeah so it's a hollow core door it's a uh, simple um one by two construction furring strips is what i call them and then they put um the um, what is this? They they put um, plywood over each end, and then it's a, a hollow core door. Gotcha. So it's just basically a frame, and then they put the plywood sheeting over the one fourth inch or one one fourth of an inch plywood over the top of it that creates the front and the back of the door. So my plan is to go ahead and cut that in half, or cut it probably three quarters of the way up. Close to half, well, three quarters, and then put in an extra set of hinges, and then I can have the door closed with a simple little hasp like this one, oh. and it will hold that together. So when we're traveling, we can close it and latch it, and it'll stay together. And then when we get someplace and we want to have it open, we can just open up the top portion. Yeah, feel like Green Acres in your RV. If if the wife asks for it and I can do it, then I better get going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's almost uh, nine o'clock. So I was going to try to really try hard to make this with uh, an actual just one hour hangout. So just to uh, go through your stuff again, how do people find Three Tails RV? Well, yeah. you can find us on Facebook at Passionate for RV Living. We actually host a uh, a group there that's called Passionate for RV Living. So if you can look that one up, uh, there's that's where we showcase most of our videos on there. We have other topics that we discuss in there. We also have another Facebook page that's called Three Tails RV. That's three, the the, the word tails and then RV tails like in a on a dog <laughs> at the retail. We have three dachshunds, so that's where that came from. Uh, Pinterest, we're on Pinterest. We're on um what is that on twitter pinterest just about any social media that you can think of three tails rv or passionate for rv living and we twitter, also have our blog page and yes and our 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 blog page is at three tails rv.com 
Sweet. And then for us, it's uh, our main site's RV Travel Buddy. Hey, thanks for watching our videos. Please take the time to like and subscribe to our videos to see our future shows. Also next to me is a few of our more popular shows. Thanks for watching.